We have been talking about uh, the life of the Prophet ﷺ when he uh, left uh, Mecca and went to Medina. Uh, and we know how much he uh, wanted to stay first and that he had to leave because of the persecution tortures and killings that the, his community uh, uh, was facing uh, in Mecca. So he left and, and when he was arriving in uh, uh, Yathrib, the first name of al Madina al Nawara, that became al Madina al Nawara because of his presence and the presence of the religious community, the Muslim community, then when he settled and the first thing that he did it was to build the mosque. And to build the mosque uh, meant many things. The first thing that we need to know is that wherever you can say La ilaha illallah and you are not persecuted, it means that you are at home and this is a place where you can live. Now, to create a center, to create a center for the religious community, a mosque is essential. So it means in fact that uh, building a mosque in a specific place, in a specific country, in a specific uh, city means we are at home. We are at home not as people who try to uh, convert people, but as people who are protecting themselves and trying to get this religious community which is so essential for the spiritual life. And sometimes this is not understood, uh, neither by Muslims and uh, either by Muslims or non-Muslims, because what we have is this understanding that uh, 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 the presence is colonizing a space, and we know that our uh, uh, role, our goal is not to convert people. What we have in the Quran is If God had willed, all the people in the world would have uh, uh, believed. Is it then for you to impose uh, onto people to believe? It's none of your business. This is not the key of the hearts, it's not you. What you have to do is first to build a mass to protect the religious community and means here that you come together and what we see from the very beginning with the prophet is that men and women were praying together the men in the front and the, the women uh, uh, at the back because this was a question of the gesture and to try to 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 uh, protect the, uh, uh, the modesty of both but they were together, so it was not a male space, it was a space for the community. And then what also was there, it was a space to teach, a space where you can learn your religion. So it's an educational process, a mosque is both where the religious, the, the hearts are gathering, the spiritual teaching, the spiritual dimension is there, and this is where a spiritual community is built, where an intellectual community is built also through the education. And then also the social links and the social fabric is also so protected because around the Prophet's mosque there were these people Ahl Sufan, and all the poor people coming and trying trying to get something to survive and there were a, a social uh, status a social role for the mosque so mosque should be uh, irradiating the whole environment with a spiritual intellectual and social presence which is so essential in our uh, life and this is what we have to understand what this is the, what the Prophet uh, 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 did when he arrived in, in, in Medina and then also while we are now in our mosques uh, praying during Ramadan and, and this is where we need to have this uh, space open for our brothers and sisters this is where also we need to have this teaching and you need to have this education and this is where also we have a social role we need to provide assistance and show solidarity towards the people, whoever they are, Muslims and non-Muslims, a mosque is a positive and added value wherever we are. And we have to think about this, not only to come to pray and with our noise during the night we uh, disturb our neighbors, we don't care about this because we are fasting. No, that's not the point. The point is really to think about a noble presence through our mosque with uh, uh, cleanliness, with purity, with solidarity, with humanity and with 
dignity. May Allah help us to be and to follow uh, in the footsteps of the Prophet and never forget to tell the people you love that you love them. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.